Laura in Chicago. Well, hello, Laura. I rarely get to hear from females. Very much appreciate you writing to me. Dear Paul, I have a DAC with HDMI input and output that uses ESS chips. It's called an Essence DAC 2. Okay. I use it with my Oppo 205 DVD player to get true high-res audio. Why don't they have issues with copyright laws? I know that there are others like the Bryston and Hi-Fi Rose, which are audiophile products that have them. I know of a lot of others who want this option. I'm not totally clear, Laura, what you're asking me here, but l l let, me, l let me clear a couple of things up. First off, um, your Oppo will put out on HDMI the SACD layer and your DAC with HDMI input will, uh, most of them will play it back, but it does so through a Sony authorized chip. Let me put this a different way that makes sense. If you take our DAC products and our transport, which is the SACD transport, and you use an HDMI cable, you're not actually using HDMI, you're using what we call I squared S. And that takes the SACD layer, the DSD layer off of an SACD, and separates it out, runs it through that cable and into our DAC where you have full access to everything. So you hear everything through our DAC, okay? If you do it inside the Oppo, it will play the SACD layer and an output DSD, but only through the analog outputs because it has to go through this Sony authorization chip. Same thing, I don't know what you're, much about your DAC, but if it has an HDMI input and it has the SACD uh, chip from Sony, then it's all running through that. And then finally, when it comes out, it is no longer DSD. At that point, they have converted it to something else, PCM, and you're listening to it in PCM. So you're not really hearing what that is capable of until you run it through one of our DACs, or I think there may be one other person out there that or one other company out there that's doing that. But to really hear SACD, DSD output, you really need to separate that, not run it through the Sony chip, which also has a DAC and all that stuff in it, because that's not the real experience. The real experience happens when you listen to it as separated like that through one of our DACs. And I, just the way it is, there's like, like you clearly understand, there are copyright issues and we struggled a long time, worked with Sony for a long time, and they basically said, okay, look, as long as nobody can copy the output of your SACD transport, which you can't, then it's okay to separate the two and run it on a DAC. But to really hear the DSD layer on an SACD, you need one of our rigs, okay? Thanks for the question.